pedophiles are the worst things in existence in this third dimension. Spirit, do your thing to these niggas in jail. Mental alchemy. Mental alchemy. Mental alchemy. All right, let's get it on. We got some things to talk about. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, I can't make it up. We have to dive into this thing because it's coming up and we got to draw a line here. That's what I'm going to attempt to do in this thing because at the same time, at the end of the day, we have to make stuff clear and make stuff understood and understood to the level of severing any type of confusion that people might have. So what's up, y'all? What's good, man? We're going to get it in. Dreams and Desires 45. Let's get it on. Hey, this is what the Times is telling us. So, hey, we got to speak on it and make moves towards it. Say what's up to the people, babe. What's up, people? Happy Friday. Welcome back to another one. Uh, Y'all know why these Fridays are so special. These Fridays are so special because every Friday I enter a new week of pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Every Friday. And so this Friday, today, I just turned 30 weeks pregnant. 30 weeks. So we got 10 weeks left before we are welcoming our second son, our fourth child. So every time we come on here for these live streams, I be I be excited, not just about talking to y'all, but excited that we are a week closer to meeting this baby. So you know, yeah. nervous to be meeting the new gods. That's the thing. <laughs> you meet the new gods and god or goddesses, but this is God. Be some nervous time because you're trying to introduce yourself and stuff. So yeah, I feel you, babe. And our midwife has just been absolutely amazing absolutely amazing so shout out to her let's get it on y'all know what it is we uh, and speaking of children we or shit i'm pretty sure the majority of y'all no that shit is the worst thing in existence no 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 who are these niggas what kind of shit is this that's going on in this cult environment because that's what it is that's what it basically boils down to some kind of practice some kind of psychological cult understanding that's happening with these niggas and i hey that's not us over here we in a whole different spectrum of thought we are different than all of these religious leaders because <laughs> we ain't no religious nothing you feel me we're in a complete space of having a human experience, a soul being having a human experience. I have a family, a house, and I provide a service that's spiritual products. That's it. This other shit that's happening, that shit is not nothing. <laughs> I don't, shit, I can touch with a stick. You feel me? And some of the stories I've been hearing offline, you know what I'm saying, on the phone and stuff and this other stuff, this shit is really wild. So we're going to talk about it, family, and I'm going to just let it out and, and clear this shit up so you can understand what this thing is and how goofy these niggas is. You feel me? So let's get it on. Dreams in his eyes, 45. So let me read because, see, I ain't never heard of this nigga Rashad Jamal until he went to jail. And I found an article on him because we got to go. Let me see where this article is. Okay, here it is. Vice. Vice.com. An online prophet with a huge following has been convicted of child abuse. Rashad Jamal, a new age prophet with a huge online following among esoteric black communities, has been convicted of child molestation and cruelty to children. A 
According to the court document obtained by motherboard, a Georgia judge sentenced him to 18 years in prison and 22 more on probation for a total of 40 years. 18 years in prison. Jamal is among the most influential in a group of loosely affiliated spiritual influencers with large followers on Instagram and TikTok. So this is what I want y'all to understand. This, when you see stuff like this, niggas is not going to jail for no reason. The, these people are not playing with you. So there's something that's else that's happening that they put themselves in this jail. You feel me? Spirit is not playing with you. So wait, let me get because <laughs> I want y'all to understand this to the core. So now you are so being having a spiritual experience, and in your experience, they're gonna put you down for helping people. No, nigga, this shit is real. These boys are doing something in the aspect of sacrifice, I believe. And I think they're trying to create this cult energy in this with this sacrifice thing that's not that's not conducive to what what we are. You feel me? And nothing to do with melanated spiritual beings, right? So that's why we're about to draw the line right here because polite is the same thing. Nature boy, all these boys are in some kind of cult programming system that's making them do sacrificial energy work in the form of what they did, child molestation. And it's fucked up and it's whack and it's trash. And it's it's sad because you know what I'm saying. This is somebody's daughter. I got two daughters, nigga. I will kill these niggas. No, nah, fuck that. I wouldn't even kill them. I would I would hold them at my fucking house if that shit happened to me. They would not say. <laughs> See, and this is the weird thing about this shit because, you know, I'm coming from the streets and shit to this YouTube thing. And I'm like, okay, I'm moving into a different space and a different genre. And the real reason why I started to do the Sunday services was because uh, understood the power of working together. You feel me? That's how people get on through businesses. White people work together to grow things. So I understood that to the core and I understood how important that was because a lot of, you know, melanated people don't really get that concept in business. And what's happening is, and what happened with me was I started to see that these spiritual people are confusing their humanity, right? Their human existence with spirituality. So for instance, I'm a soul being having a human experience. That doesn't mean I'm a neglect on my bills because I'm Mr. Spiritual. You feel me? You have to take care of what you have to take care of. And it means you have to take care of it. What I noticed when I was working with a groups of spiritual people is that they are so far gone and so far long gone into the right brain that they're not even really understanding how this shit works. You feel me? They're just making shit up in their head. So they're not even having a spiritual experience because they're not even able to balance the holistic energy out and understand what's happening. Look, I'm going to show you all right now. Watch this. I can't make it up. These niggas are, oh, <laughs> hey, these niggas are religious leaders. And you know about these religious leaders, they're trying to put you in a certain way of thinking, move you into a certain group dynamic. And that's not what this is. That's not who I am. That's not any of us that understand what this thing actually is. You feel me? These motherfuckers are in these groups doing rituals because they believe in their mind that's how they're going to get to the next level. All of these, I don't give a fuck, the rappers, all of these motherfuckers, they think it's some kind of 
rites of passage to do these goofy ass acts. You feel me? And some of them just might be sick like that. You feel me? Might be so ego driven in their mind that they don't even see how stupid and silly they are in this in this in this particular environment. I will kill these niggas, man. No, I told I take it back. I wouldn't kill them. I would lock them in my shed, nigga. And that shit will be a fucking adventure for me. See, this is what I'm saying. I will. <laughs> Let me chill, because I ain't got to say. I don't know who the hell these people think they are, man, but this shit is out of line, and this shit is confu confusing a lot of people. And the stuff I heard on the phone that I'm not going to, you know, just kind of repeat was it's a whole cult energy that's happening in this thing where these motherfuckers is running this kind of... Uh, it's kind of group think dynamic, you feel me? And they're basically just Catholic pre priests, you feel me? That's taking advantage of little kids. It's absolutely insane. And hey, look, I'm just telling you what it is. These motherfuckers need to be shot in the legs and live in suffering. You feel me? They need to be, see, when they go to jail, nigga, trust and believe. How spirit works, them boys is about to get some real good payback. Because that shit is trash, nigga. You got to be the lowest of the low to... See, when you see niggas like this, you have to just go straight for the gusto on them. Every single one of them. Because it don't make no sense. Nobody's just not locking you up because... You think you fucking miss the spiritual or whatever, or you about to change the whole dynamic of black people. These black people are dead. Nobody ain't going to get changed off of this shit. The only people that's going to get changed is the one that came down for this final experience to grow and move on. But all these other people that that's living, that's, that's their journey. They supposed to have them experiences. So these white people ain't trying to lock you up because of that. They locking them up because they did it. They did it. And you got to wake up. And if you don't believe they did it, you tripping too. Okay, so let's talk about these co-leaders because this is something strange and this is what I'm talking about. This is how you know this shit is something different. See, when you see shit like this, right? I don't know what the fuck is the obsession with these niggas that claim to be helping people trying to be rappers. Obviously, they're trying to sell you on their rap career because in high school, they wasn't able to get it. So now, all of a sudden, they feel like, hey, I can take this lane and rap, and then niggas will <laughs> fuck with my, with my rapping. So it's see, this is what I'm saying. When you're Mr. Nobody, when you're no self, you wouldn't do no shit like this. What the fuck? What, why would you do this? It don't even make no sense. We already understand the vibrational pitch of rapping. So the minute you see these niggas rapping, you should already look and say, okay, <laughs> I get it. I got you. You're right. There ain't no, you know what they are? They are Christian rappers, nigga. That's the same thing. It's all the same thing. You worshiping religion, a deity. You worshiping Jesus. You might as well just be praying to Jesus. It's the same concept. These motherfuckers are confused on what this thing is. And this shit is over with because at the same time, when you see stuff like this, you know that spirit is about to end this earth. This shit, say that uh, I can't make it up. This, these people got all of these followings. And see, this is why I never watched none of that shit. Because I can see past the bell. I can see past the human tricks and the words, right? I'm seeing into the depths of who they are. Because my first eye is able to see past the exterior. You got to look at somebody's essence, somebody's energy. What are they trying to move you with you feel me what is the purpose of it like and the purpose is hey buy my cd nigga <laughs> i 
what <laughs> or go go listen to my jams the ego has gotten so gone, far gone and i did a i did a video on this nigga polite like four years ago and i said look these kind spirits are gonna keep on fucking y'all niggas up because y'all believing in uh uh motivation if niggas is not, not telling you how to move your energy then they not tell they're not trying to help you they're trying to play you they're keeping you in a circle and a merry-go-round so then obviously sister earth is going to put some get back on their ass and put the right vibrational pitch on them to go sit their ass down and hopefully and hopefully get their ass hit from the back baby that's what i'm talking about so yes nigga. well why are you so <laughs> hey uh, i'll just tell you what it is um I'm not gonna eat. You know what? I'm gonna make that shit happen in my in the astral. I'm gonna make one of these big ass niggas, one of these goddamn <laughs> ride that nigga and say, "Yay, hey, do your bidding." Because you gotta think about it. They didn't think about how about the harmless girl. You feel me, man? What kind of shit is that? They didn't even have the. What, uh, that's you know why I had a I had a homeboy, and this how this where I know it's sick, and this is what I know it is. I had a homeboy in middle school, and he was like the man in middle school and shit like that, right? He was just like big time the man, star football player, whatever, right? And he got to high school, and that shit kind of tapered off and died down or whatever, right? And we got out and we got out to you know the world and stuff like that and he's and he just kind of lost himself or whatever but his energy was stuck in middle school because that's when he was the man so this nigga was hitting middle schoolers and that shit was crazy he was just going he was going to like the the middle school area you know what i'm saying and picking up on middle schools and all of that. Long story short, the nigga got caught in a middle schooler's house and the dad whooped his ass. Long story short, the dude, he was a he was damn near 28 at this time, fucking with a 14 year old. Long story short, the nigga is still in jail now. I don't want to say his name because you know, whatever. But nigga is still in jail now. And I swear to you. I know it's because of the energy that he felt in middle school because I could see the vibrancy in him in middle school. And then when we got out and all of that stuff, you see how that shit dissipated. So, so there's so a, basically you saying when he was in middle school, this is when he felt like the man. This right. is when he felt like he he was he was that guy. And then as he gotten older, he was never able to reclaim that same essence. So his mind made him believe that talking to middle schoolers would reignite that energy. His he, he was stuck in a middle school energy. You know them That's old delusional. His, right. his 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 great his 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 great years or whatever. Like don't know how to move on and create a better reality for yourself right now. You holding on to what happened in middle school. Nigga, I had I remember um one of my professors, he was like, Man, the best time of your life is gonna be these college times. You better remember this. I said, nigga, are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> I'm like, what? I don't give a fuck about none of this college stuff. I'm here for a time and that's it. Nigga, that nigga told me that shit. I knew he was stuck in that college energy because he was still a professor there, old as hell, 70. Come, come into the socials and shit. And he was looking at me and say, hey, I can't make it up. Just tell you what it is. I mean, shit, they were 21 or whatever, you know, but still, his old ass. <laughs> I would say, nah, that shit crazy. So niggas' energies can be stuck in a certain place because they haven't did the maturation process or not actually doing the spiritual work. You feel me? so you got to understand that to the core some of these niggas are so ego driven that it might even look appealing to 
a large amount of people because those people are still stuck in the same energy of the goddamn 14 to 16 year old range or whatever seven to 14 year old range right they're still stuck in that same energy because they trying to reclaim their fame or get back this kind of essence that they had you feel me what's the movie we watched um dr sleep dr sleep remember that the true knots they were trying to steal people so they could get that vibrant energy again right they was trying to steal people's essence children's essence to get that vibrant energy again so what they're trying to give you all the understanding of is they feel that when they do these acts right they can restore their essence and energy by you know raping uh, i don't even like raping a, a middle schooler or whatever it's so these sad. are modern day these are modern day like you said cult leaders but if we think about these like amish families like think about the show um which I never got into this show, but I heard it was really good. And it was about this very same thing. Mm -hmm. The show, uh, The Scarlet Letter or something like that, where basically the children, not just the girls, the children in general are food for these pastors, these preachers, these priests, these male leaders. Mm -hmm. And everybody contributes to feeding his low vibrational actually for lack of better words demonic energy mm. right the children are his fuel the children are his food essentially on a spiritual level yeah. so you know these guys like polite or rashad jamal or any of these people who, who who do things like this this is what makes them feel powerful right this is what makes them feel actually you know in tune with themselves but it's a fake it's it's a it's a false sense of power right. and so they take advantage of these mothers who have no type of spiritual authority who have no intuition who just want to be a part of something who just want to be loved and accepted so they take advantage of these mothers in their naivety right and this is how their children become susceptible to bullshit. It's the same thing with that that documentary we was watching with the pimp. Remember the the little young pimp dude, and he was pimping them fourteen year old girls. It's the same thing, all the same. They want to take advantage of the people that you know that don't have a mind essentially, or or not in control of their mind. And in control of their energy you feel or me? people or children children who don't have parents who have a mind hmm. like if your mama don't have no mind a lot of people do develop a, a a level of strength young when you're a kid if your mom is out there she ain't really thinking straight or whatever mm -hmm. then you develop that yourself but a lot of kids don't and they end up being food for some for, for predators essentially Yep. Look for y'all in the chat. I didn't even see I was out there. I forgot about the chat. Okay, we in here then. I'm gonna send the link so people can join. I see you, Will. Rob, yeah, I, I want y'all to join because I know hey, you know Will about to go in. <laughs> hey, I can't even play, dog. That's funny, boy. So yeah, these niggas are Christian rappers. They're doing some, you know, they're doing a, a service uh, or they're just religious rappers. Let me say that they're in this place of uh, uh, look at me, look at me and and feed me your light type of shit. You feel me? I don't know what the session is with this rapping thing, but y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. That shit is trash, nigga. I don't give a fuck who it is, nigga. That shit is trash nigga you cannot be in the space of saying i'm <laughs> i'm just i'm just keeping it real there's no way in the world see now if you just do that then you do that you feel me that's what you do like Kambada, that nigga does that so that's what he does and he just happened to have 
spiritual concepts but he's not out here oh, yeah he's really into the art of the right world. he's not out here lecturing and doing all this other stuff and then saying hey buy my cd this nigga is saying hey look this is what i do you feel me Cy rock this is what i do and she and she doesn't she you know she does the whole spiritual message and you know she still moves into other alternative things so that's what i'm saying this concept of these people lecturing or putting out motivation motivational words and then saying i'm a rapper that shit is fucked up because they not really in it for assisting right you to grow they're in it so you can buy their cd buy their mp3 and their shit be trash nigga you don't know. got no flow don't got right. no flow <laughs> Hey, I'm just keeping it real. The Not only nigga that's actually running crying. it is Kim Bada. That nigga is rap. He's doing this shit. You can hear it. Niggas know they like, all right, let's oh, get yeah, to he's the fire. He's putting it out there. So it's not, I'm not trying to hate on these people. I'm just telling you what it is. If you can't see that your shit is trash, nigga, you fucking up. Goddamn Stevie Wonder can see that. He definitely can hear it. And he can see it with his hey, You have to be honest with yourself. This shit is about honesty. You know why I don't rap? Because my shit going to be trash. And I wouldn't do it anyway because that's not even in, the, in my MO. You feel me? <laughs> Say, hey, I, all right. Y'all going to have to get this shit because these y'all niggas is playing. Y'all got to really wake up and understand. See, when you see niggas that's rapping, you must look at it, take a step back and look at it and say, why the fuck is he doing this? So the young pharaohs of the world, yeah, let me put this information out and then let me give you my CD. It doesn't make any sense. It's not real, nigga. They want to be stars. They want to be rappers. They want to live that that life. That, they want to be famous. Right. That's what so I'm a lot of the stuff that they do, the content that they create, and I'll be honest, I've never watched a single Rashad Jamal video. Period. I never have, right? But a lot of these people with these cult followings, like I said, that's a, a, a form of like fuel and food and energy. They feed off of that. And the thing is, is that it's they don't even know what spirit they're feeding. They really feeding this underworld energy. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, the rapping be actually trash. Just being honest, like <laughs> it's actually not. And if and if and if they had real friends by them, somebody would tell them, hey, this shit is trash. Was That's Polite a saying. rapper made? I never heard any Polite stuff either. That nigga just made a video. That shit was trash too. That shit was real bad. Hey, this is trash. <laughs> <I see. laughs> they don't really have no real friends around them because niggas is just followers and shit. That shit is trash. That's what, oh uh, no, nah, that shit is trash. I ain't gonna sit here and pander to you and shit like that. Nigga, some of the family, they tell me on their YouTube videos, I'll be honest with them. You know why? Because I don't want them to put out some bullshit that's not serving. You feel me? That's not serving their greater good. So I want them to grow into the aspect of understanding how to approach this thing instead of them, you know, putting out trash. You feel me? Why, I mean, would, why would we let somebody put, why would we have a friend and let this nigga put out this garbage? That's not a friend, nigga. You got to be real with these niggas. Tell them, hey, look, your shit is trash. I promise you, look, you need to leave this shit alone. It's just not working. You're not on beat. You're not in rhythm. And that's to say a lot because you got a lot of words, motivational words. But at the same time, you need to move into just doing that and focus on that. You feel me? Other than that, nigga. Hold on. What I want to say is like um when you start off doing something new it's not going to always be good right that's just we understand yeah that. you okay we got that yeah. the beginning of making videos shit if you go back to my first videos to to how i speak now i'm a different person so if your stuff is not 
if whatever you're creating, whether that it's musically or whether it is uh, you starting to public speak or whatever, then okay, you know what I mean? You get better with time, so we understand that. But I think what the real thing is, is do you really feel that this is something that you are called to do? Is this actual purpose work, right? Is this actually like something that is evolving you and something that is impacting your reality? That's the difference. Yep. You know what else these niggas are? This shit, nigga. I told y'all niggas, this shit is a religion. I don't give a fuck what y'all niggas is talking about, nigga. That shit is not what's happening, nigga. There's no way on the earth that these niggas, can, all of these niggas, Nature Boy, Polite, all these niggas be vegan and then do this acts that they're doing. That shit is trash. That doesn't have nothing to do with consciousness. Fuck what, what the hell kind of shit is that? See, when you see that shit, you need to say, "I'm." See, D. Ray and I, we don't eat meat, right? But we're not saying we're vegan. We don't say we don't. We'll eat meat the tomorrow, nigga. What the fuck is wrong with y'all, niggas? This is a, an experience you're having on this bitch. We chosen not to eat meat just because that's the vibration that we're moving into. But this shit right here is a religion. When you start wearing your veganism and say, I don't eat that, and you look at other people strange and shit like that, then you fucking up. You got to understand, these people are not shit, not about spirituality. They're not about consciousness. They're about themselves. So now the, the food can raise some kind of energy in you, but that's all it is, is energy. And it's not high vibrational energy because as you can see, these motherfuckers are doing low vibrational shit. You feel me? So now all of a sudden you got to question what you actually believe in this bitch because you think that goddamn food or the damn green sea moss that you drinking is going to help you, nigga. That shit is, don't have nothing to do with spirituality. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. See, let me draw the line in the sand here because y'all got me fucked up. I don't, see, that's what I'm saying. We're not in this thing like that. All this uh, uh, goofy cult stuff that they're doing, I just speak to Dream and D-Ray, wise. We have a house, we have kids. We provide a service and a business because we actually did the work, understood the work, and we're actually spiritual workers that's active in spiritual practices. You feel me? That's it. So now all these other people are different. They are motivators. They're cheerleaders. And this is what I want you all to understand. You have religious people. You have motivators. And you have spiritual workers. That's it. See, with religious people, these people are people that believe in like African spirituality and stuff like that. You feel me? Them Hebrew Israelites and shit like that. Or they just believe in some kind of, they can, it can be Jesus, it can be whoever. They believe in something outside of themselves. You feel me? It don't matter what they turned into or converted into that's what they believe right they're into that shit motivators are people that just talk a good game they're just talking family if you see when you see these talkers you gotta say hey nigga show me the proof where's the work do the work where what what can i do if they just getting you inspiration and making you feel good yeah man that's good or if they're pointing to the government, hey, we got to look out for them. Hey, let's look out for them. Hey, wa hey, watch out for them. What does that even mean? How do you watch out for another motherfucker? If somebody's trying to break in your house, you can't stop them but with a gun. But how does that have anything to do with you being a conscious being? You, it's you being in this bliss state 
in this love for self state that's actually helping your greater good you feel me that's moving let me, and let, greater go ahead babe. let me help people understand why you send the link because oh. i think people are getting it twisted or misunderstood in here what we're actually talking about really we're not talking about polite and rashad jamal they are just an example of a bigger issue at hand that's the point so even people that are like okay where is the evidence where is the proof you don't need all of that because that's you trying to convince yourself that these people are worthy of your appreciation and of your listening and of your all of that stuff you don't need that what we're actually talking about here is that you have to be set apart that's what we're talking about we were having this conversation the other day as we observed we were talking to my brother about sexy red sukiana whatever and what we were discussing was how if you got how do you know which is who is a woman of value and who is a woman that is uh uh in alignment with the rhetoric of these girls who all talk about sex and all of that stuff like that. What we were discussing is how will you know? So if I'm a woman, if I'm a woman and I hang out with, with, with girls who got rainbow hair, they always twerking, they always trying to get a nigga. If I'm hanging out with this group and men are in this space or whatever, they're not going to be able to tell me apart from these girls. They're going to think that I am just like them because this is who I associate with. Do you understand? Because this is who I am with. So what we're talking about here is being set apart. How do you differentiate between somebody who is actually doing spiritual work, who understands what spirituality actually is, from somebody who may talk this talk, but isn't really invested in the work and really isn't invested in you? really you can invest it in your growth in your transformation so what we're discussing about right now is not whether they did or did not do it none of that matters the situation right now is we are seeing these people get charged for a crime and based off of the work that we've observed especially polite i don't even know rashad jamal like that but especially polite when i would see him on youtube i never thought that he was just that guy because I energetically, I just didn't feel that intuitive connection. But what we're talking about is there is a difference between who you are seeing and observing on these YouTube streets. And yes, your discernment needs to be on point. You can't be in the religious mindset and excited because somebody says something like whatever. Like you have to be able to feel into what it is that you are receiving so that you know if it's really real or not truth is truth let me tell you let me there's tell you. A, hold on baby and there's a way that truth actually feels a lot of people are just getting high off of content that's mm. it mm. it's yeah. like the preacher you go to church and they sing all of them good songs and you feel high but you leave the church and you don't do anything with that information it's the same thing happening here and that's what we're trying to differentiate yeah let me tell y'all real quick and what's up will what's you. up what's up family please willie <laughs> but, um uh what's happening is is that people are not realizing that spirituality is an individual act it's an individual pursuit for self you feel me this is not no cookie cutter everybody has to do the same thing the same way and get results right so if everybody understands the concept of what the work is and actually apply the work then you'll have this realization of self that enlivens you but when we see people that's following others and moving like sheep or moving into this space of trying to see where that's a, that's good babe we're not talking about rashad jamal and and polite and none of these niggas what we're saying is that there's a cult like energy that's giving people uh uh this claim to 
I got to fuck with him because this is who I'm attached to. You feel me? It's this attachment energy that's not serving these niggas. Go ahead, Will. Y'all get it in. Let me see how I get everybody on this. So, man, 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 man. <laughs> you look good, baby. <laughs> Y'all all looking good. What's up, Rob? Okay. Oh, what's okay, good? What's okay. good? Um, of course, I got to. Uh, I definitely agree with y'all saying, and I gotta uh, put another level on it, right? Um, first and foremost, uh, 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 the people who watch these people, right? And 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 I was one of them, especially in 2015, uh, watching Brother Polite, right? Um, so so I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna say that ultimately is nobody's fault that they're watching these people it's just the fact of when we first wake up okay when we first come into what we call consciousness all right the first thing we do is we look for the celebrity energy okay because we got to understand we're coming out of mind control okay when we first wake up we're coming out of mind control so in mind control Beyonce is what we're looking for. Um, um, Jay Z and all of these type of big energies is what we're looking for. So when we wake up, we're looking for the people. Oh, this person must be spiritual. Oh, they got a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand followers. So what happens to us is, being that we come from a, 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 a absolute brainwashing thought process, we go to those people first. And that's why you have people in those comments saying, oh, I thought Rashad Jamal was this. I thought he was that. I guarantee those people are just waking up. Right. They're, so they're out looking for who got the most celebrity in the right. field. Right. And ultimately, field? and ultimately, it's not their fault. That's, that's the uh, last remnants of mind control. Mm -hmm. Okay. Coming out, of, coming out of this bullshit realm that 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 we all decided to be a part of okay and um and 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 one more thing and and and, and, and i'm gonna shut the hell up because y'all know how i get down um uh, now as far as the speakers go you know the 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 light jamal um york uh i mean the list goes on and on so even these brothers, okay, because ultimately we know this is an illusion anyway, mm -hmm. right? None of this shit really happened anyway, okay? So so, so when you start looking at it from, from uh, that, that, that God mind understanding, what happens is with us, we start getting too much information, okay? So what, what I mean by that is uh, some of us stuck to the script. And Dream, we were talking about this the other day, okay? Some of us stuck to the script, okay? Well, I'm God. I want to see this guy come into fruition. I want to see what this thing is, okay? If I'm so having a human experience, then I want to realize the soul more, okay? I want to know who the hell I am as God, all right? So some of us stuck to that script, okay? But when you start getting into more and more levels of information, not levels, because it's not it's not higher levels is a lot of it you know you actually have muslim okay information that actually uh and and, and i'm gonna say this not muslim um truth okay but muslim information that speaks about it's okay to be with a 13 year old girl it's okay to be with a 14 year old girl or boy whatever Okay, so they got information, and, and that's what a lot of these brothers stand on, okay? All right, like the stories I heard about York is fucking crazy, all right? But he stood on that Muslim shit, okay? He, he stood on that, so, so, so according to the information, okay, a lot of these people don't think they're doing anything wrong, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. Yeah. We have to understand the knowledge and stick with the script and the script is you are god you will you will never know enough 
about yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's why this journey will forever be self versus self. When yeah. we start looking at other shit, that's when the ignorant mind wants to be what I like to call woke famous. Yeah, it, that's good, Will, because what's happening is they're trying to with that m Muslim or whatever practice it is, they're trying to recreate something that's not actually that's not actually necessary. You feel me? So the sacrifice energy in that is it doesn't make no sense for now or ever, right? But you know, different cultures practice different things. They marry at thirteen or whatever, right? And all that. So it's whatever. But with us. And we being uh, the people of the West, we have to understand that that's not our energy signature or our vibration. So now you're doing something that's not tied to your heart to get to another level in this thing. So, for instance, it's the same thing. Like they used to kill goats, right, back in ancient times for the sacrifice. But that sacrifice was their food to you know, to the gods, and they were just sacrificing that to restore order or to get more energy and order. You feel me? With us, when I was I was explaining this to the Patreon family, I'm saying like, Lakshmi wants candy. She wants candy, right? But she doesn't want candy. She just wants you to get rid of some of the sweetness in your life, right? Whether that be alcohol. whether that be porn, weed, right? Get rid of the sweetness in your life to get to the ultimate energy, which is Lakshmi, which is prosperity. You feel me? So with these niggas doing these rituals in the form of taking advantage of, you know, a 14-year-old or 13-year-old or whatever, right? And believing that they will be able to gain more power or more energy they're fucking themselves up in the mind because that's not really what this is about. You feel me? It's about you understanding your own self and move. And, I, and I'm not saying these niggas could be sick than a motherfucker. We don't know. You feel me? We don't know. I, the, some of the stories I heard, hey, I'm going to just leave it at that. Some of the stories I heard, I was like, what the fuck? Go ahead, Rob. Yeah, the, the, the piece to the piece to the gods. First of all, peace to the panel. Thank you for having me here. I appreciate it, Dream. Um, Dream D. Ray Will. Um, we have to realize the reason here why we don't, it's not just Western or a Western mindset. The main reason you don't want to touch children is because children's brains are not yet developed, right? They don't have enough information and experience to make wise decisions. And the critical thinking capacity to say, okay, this is good for me. This is bad for me. For instance, if you tell a child you can eat ice cream for lunch and dinner, they're going to eat ice cream for lunch and dinner and candy for lunch and dinner, right? They're not able to discriminate correctly because their frontal lobe is not fully developed. So it's not just a moral thing, right? It, it is, but it isn't, right? It's what's best, right? We're dealing with the scales of my eye. So when we're dealing with the scales of my eye, it's the heart being, being as light as a feather. So essentially, you're a time traveler, right? You're going back in time and saying, okay, how did I think when I was 12, 13? Did someone take advantage of me? Was I manipulated? Did I believe George Washington didn't tell a lie and by the cherry tree that I believe that Jesus was going to save me, right? All these lies that we're told, go to school, the American dream, right? Get a good job and a white picket fence and a dog and a lot of money, you'll be happy, right? All these lies that we're told. So essentially, you are acting like God because God has no limits on perception, omnipresent, omnipotent, right? All these things we're talking about. So when I hear People say that because this guy or this teacher gave me information, get woke me up, and you're excusing oh, God. a person of touching a child, I want to tell you, you are disgusting, okay? Right. I personally feel you are disgusting, 
and the universe feels you are disgusting and all the ancestors feel you are disgusting. Why? Because you are allowing yourself to be caught up, as Will said, in a religious mindset. You're still looking for a TD Jakes mm -hmm. to save you. You are still looking for a, 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 a Joel Osteen to save you. A lot of y'all need to go back to church if that is your mindset. This is the entrepreneurial mindset. What do I mean by entrepreneurial mindset? When you are an employee, you clock in the work. You follow the rules. You have a set time to go for lunch, et cetera, et cetera. When you're an entrepreneur, you don't do that shit, right? You run the organization. I mean, it's up to you to take care of everything from if the bathroom's clean from if the break room has straws paper towels little things like that to make sure payroll is taken care of right all that's on you when you come into this field of esoteric metaphysical occult knowledge it's all on you so when i listen to dreamwise i take what works for me for dreamwise and i do the work you understand mm -hmm. When I listen to D-Ray, I take from them, will, so forth and so on. But I don't follow them, meaning I'm not an employee of them. My work is my work. My talent is my talent. What I was put here, when my sperm hit my egg and I was developed, I came here with a special purpose for me and me alone, right? I'm going to tell you all this and I'm going to pass it on. When I heard Rashad Jamal say, and I don't watch his videos, right? When I ha I'm not a, I'm not a fan, right? When I heard him say, you don't, I heard him say this on Instagram in a clip. He said, you don't need to read. All you need to do is meditate. I said, oh man, this guy's dangerous. That's what they told the slaves. <laughs> they told the slaves not to read. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They told the slaves not to look into books, mm -hmm. right? Now, you could derive a lot of things from going within, yes. But part of understanding being a time traveler and being a god is to use the wisdom from the past, to use the wisdom from the ancestors. Sankofa, this is what we come from. Sankofa, using the wisdom from the past to power the present. Because without understanding your past, you won't know your future. So when you come into this spiritual lifestyle, you have to be able to, and again, we're going back into my principles. You have to be able, your heart being light as a feather is you being able to put yourself in other people's shoes. Thanks. The government doesn't need to remove any nigga on YouTube teaching you. We got Panic. We got Bobby Hammett. We got Malcolm X. We got plenty of speakers. Elijah Muhammad, uh, Francis Quest Welsing, Jewel Pukram. The list goes on and on and on. Why isn't everybody, if the government wants to take away teachers and speakers, why isn't everybody in jail? Why isn't, why am I not in jail? Why Dream's not in jail? They we all dropping gems. Why they the should. government is not, why is Will's not in jail? Right. Got Come on, here. man. What are y'all talking hey, about? Hey, Bobby would have been locked up, huh? Bobby would have been the big, Bobby would have been on death row, nigga. <laughs> exactly. Nigga, been Dream, you got like a thousand videos, nigga. I ain't, you, you ain't get charged yet. What the fuck? <laughs> Bobby, you don't see it. Hey, Bobby got more content than us, and that nigga Bobby, some did that nigga right. was for real. That nigga was dropping them video. He, he was. You remember Bobby used to say, uh, he used to be like, "Is the camera on?" All right, so we're ready. <laughs> hey, <laughs> anoint yourself. Crazy. Anoint hey, yourself, hey, man. Quick, hold hey, on, y'all. Let me read uh -huh. this real quick that a girl wrote. That was um, good, Rob. That was good. Appreciate that. That was life. absolutely fire. Listen, I read this quote that a girl wrote that was so powerful. She said, only people with severe spiritual blindness and deafness can stand amidst an artificial deformity and see a leader or a warrior, let alone a God. She says, stop falling for conscious propaganda. The motherfuckers could have locks, Egyptian hieroglyphs tattooed on them, be vegan and still be hijacked. And then she goes on to say, lastly, 
the niggas who perpetuate pan-Africanism, Moorish science, or anything quote-unquote conscious, they are guilty until proven innocent in spirit, not intellect. Most of them are still living in survival mode with shallow breath and are severely disassociated from their bodies, making them more susceptible to, po to possession. Entities know no gender or race. Sis went hard. What book is that? This is a girl on Instagram. Her name is Nicole Ray. Nicole Ray. And okay. this whole thing right now that we're talking about right now, she has been posting consistently on Instagram saying stuff like this. But spiritual blindness and deafness to stand amongst some of these people and not even just stand amongst, but listen to these people's content and think you are hearing a leader, a warrior, a god. Yes, she said right. they could be vegan, they could have Egyptian tattoos, locks, and everything else that looks the part and still be possessed by a low vibrational energy. Exactly. And real quick, I personally, personally, right? This is my personal bias. I don't trust anybody dressing spiritual. I ain't gonna lie to you. When you push, when you're dressing with all the onks and the dashikis and you got a billion crystals, I automatically don't trust you. It's like that nigga that uh 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 that come to the gym and all the Jordan the <laughs> right, and he can't ball for shit. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm a, I'm a, I'm a wolves and shit clothing. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta vet there, right? these people. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this in there with the brother Rod just uh, just talked about how how he don't trust those type of people right and, and and I'm gonna tell you why he don't trust those type of people is years of understanding right mm -hmm. is because he's been on his journey for a while now he have another eye that has opened not now he's starting to receive discernment spiritual discernment on what's truly happening. You know, so uh, so so spirit told me a couple of weeks ago, the loudest person in the room is usually wrong. Mm -hmm. OK, so 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 when we talk about a lot of these brothers, they get the hooping and hollering and and, and you motherfuckers and dot, blah, 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 all this old shit. OK, and, and, and it's giving you your 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 truth right there. But. I wanted to comment on this, too, uh, um, which I was talking about as far as um everybody being in jail we don't understand how deep the mind control really is right so so when people first start waking up like i was discussing when people first start waking up i saw i don't know how many people were saying uh uh, uh, uh this brother jamal is in jail based on what he was teaching right so, so for somebody to say that, it's crazy. they didn't see Bobby Hemmett. They don't know Brother Panic. They don't know Dr. Ben. They don't know uh, 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 Dr. John Henry Clark. They don't know um, uh, uh, Israel Kwesi and all these other people. They don't know these people. All they know is the Instagram, Instagram TikTok world today. Mm. That's mm. all they know. So, so, And that's still a mind control set. OK, understanding, not putting the emotions into it, but just sitting back and thinking of it from the God mind, because there is none of our higher selves who, who are even thinking about it from a physical level. OK, they understand the supreme mind control that we're under. And based on that, these people are going to continue to love Rashad Jamal. They're going to continue to love uh, polite. They're going to continue to love. Uh, I, I ain't about to say the brother name, but uh, 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 you know the the conscious awards, right? They're going to continue to love that type of stuff because that's where they come from and that's what they see. Okay, until we are able to raise that consciousness and raise that spiritual awareness and see things from the God mind. It's a whole nother level of thought in that particular area. The heaven realm. Yeah, y'all dropping. Let, me, let me ask, and let me ask y'all this real quick. Mm -hmm. What do y'all think 
besides just the 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 religious mind control aspect what do y'all think makes people become infatuated in a sense with speakers or or teachers and not be able to see pa- what, what make what do y'all think makes the people because it's really not about the speaker it's about it's not message. It, 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 it's conditioned. absolutely not about been, the speaker at all right. it's the celebrity Right, right. They celebrity. To that though, what do y'all we've think been conditioned though. We've been conditioned since school, since mm. uh, yep. elementary school, to follow people, to follow the teacher, to listen to the teacher, to do exactly what the teacher said. I had the privilege, even though my mother had her flaws, right? But I had the privilege of my mother telling me, if the teacher tells you certain things, it doesn't seem right. From kindergarten, don't do it. You know. Don't listen to it. If you want to use the bathroom and the teacher tells you not to use the bathroom, you go to the bathroom, even if you got to push her, right? I remember my mom's an old school Caribbean, right? So she's like, even if you got to push out the way, go to the bathroom, right? Now, there's right. a lot of children who won't do that. They'll just listen to the teacher. So we've been conditioned over time to follow the leader, so to speak. We've been conditioned over time through religion to be good sheep, right? Good sheep and that follows the shepherd. So through all these years of conditioning, we come to an understanding. And I'm going to say this real quick. I was part of a cult, a religious cult, right? Or religious culture here in New York City. I won't talk about who it was, but the reason I left, and if you follow me and you do your decoding, you could put two or two together, right? But what left, what caused me to leave it, and this brother's brilliant, right? Brilliant brother. Heavy level science, heavy level knowledge, knowledge I still use to this day, mantras I still use to this day, et cetera, et cetera. But what caused me to leave was I saw the pedophilia in the organization. I saw the pedophilia in him. I saw the pedophilia in the organization. And I saw what they were doing to women. And my, my inner self, right, my God self, me being sincere in that organization and wanting to raise my frequency see a lot of us can get knowledge right and i've talked about this in one of my videos when i first started youtube you have to realize a lot of these people have what you call uh uh, uh, photographic memories right Mm -hmm. i've met brothers specifically right who have told me after i gave him a book and the next day i gave this brother a book right we used to play chess all the time central park and i gave him a book and the next day, and I, all this time, he was highly knowledgeable. So I was intrigued, right? We'd have these chess, mat, chess, chess matches and we would talk, right? And I was intrigued by him. He was like a polite type character, right? And I, and I gave him a book. The next day, he was like rattling off everything. I'm like, yo, bro, how do you know all this knowledge? Like, like, I finally asked him, what do you do to retrain this? And he said, don't tell nobody, right? Because he used to draw crowds, right? But for some reason, he fucked with me. And he'd be like, I got a photographic memory, bro. Every time I read some, I can retain it. I can see it. So a lot of these so-called people are geniuses, right? A lot of these young this and brother this and prophet this, and it's, they're geniuses. They have photographic memories. They can retain information. But just because you have information, it does not mean that you are living the lifestyle. It does not mean that you have good character, right? R. Kelly wrote some of the most beautiful songs in the world, right? Mm-hmm. most beautiful songs in the world does it he still was touching children right it doesn't mean that because you have knowledge or because you have talent or because you're a great orator which is a talent it doesn't mean that you are not going to descend into lasciviousness or you're going to descend into your animal spirit mm-hmm. some of us have been molested as children right by women women and men right somebody took my virginity when i was younger right it happens to a lot of women as well, right? Where they be touched, et cetera, et cetera. So people relate to these experiences and then they go back and do it to someone else, right? So just because you have book knowledge, it does not mean that your heart is pure. It does not mean that you are sincere. It does not mean that you sincerely want to help people. Right now, spiritual knowledge and spirituality is becoming a grift. People are doing it just for money. They're doing it just to feed themselves and feed their families right but this is not a this path is not about money this path is not about getting rich this path is not about getting a boo this path is not about getting a lover this path is about you developing the highest most powerful version of yourself 
So you don't even need candles to manifest. So you don't even need crystals to manifest. You don't even need all these other supplements. Why can I say that? Because I did magic in jail, my nigga, with nothing. I manifested getting out of jail with nothing but meditation and my mind. What's the first law of the Kabbalion? The mind is all. The mind is all, my nigga. The mind is all. You don't need to follow nobody. All you need to do is take their tools and take their tips, use them and utilize them. And if you have tools to use, great. I use tools. I, I wear crystals. You know what I'm saying? I wear Solomon seals, right? I dress certain ways, right? I tap into all these tools. But at the end of the day, if all these tools are gone, guess what? I still got my mind and I still got my heart. I still have the power of my imagination to create the reality that I want. And repet repetitively, if you do that, eventually you'll come into your own God consciousness. You'll come into the own awakening of your third eye and you'll stop seeing people as celebrity and you'll start seeing people as energy. And once you start seeing people as energy instead of the flesh, seeing them for their vibration and what they're actually putting out and does this really help you? Or are they just scaring you? Or are they just telling you government conspiracies? Or are they just putting you in worry, fight, and flight? Or are they developing your spirit so that you know how to engage in joy? So that you know how to engage in laughter? So that you know how to engage in peace when shit is going down, right? I had a rough last couple of weeks. Thank God for spirituality, right? I had a rough last couple of two weeks. That's why y'all ain't see me do no videos, right? I went through something that came out of nowhere. I had plans. We did. Right? Too. We did too. Well, I had, I had good plans, Dream. You understand what I'm saying? Great, great plans. Everything was going great. Oh, I'm riding high on a spiritual hog. Yeah. And then she came, bang. <laughs> Tell you. Bang. Hey, but, listen. We the the last two yeah. weeks. Well, three. Well, about three weeks now. Yeah. <laughs> about, about, yeah. About three so weeks. we all on the same vibration. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I think it's uh, that's good, Rob. I think, and that's what's and real quick, I'm gonna just say this real quick, and I'm gonna close. But that's what spirituality is for. It's when you get them uppercuts. It's when shit goes left, right? Mm. Can you still maintain your vibration? Can I still yeah. come on a panel and still talk from the heart? Because I'm talking from the heart. That's not my mind. Right? I'm talking from the heart. Can you still show who and prove? And channel the spirit of God, spread the spirit of the divine, the universe, whatever you want to call it, right? Can you still be in tune with what and who you truly are and the power that you truly have? And once you get to that point, you could get through anything, right? right. You could get through anything and you could still maintain a peace of mind and a high vibration. Yes, you may get low for a little while, but guess what? You bounce back up. The thing that happened to me, this shit should have been had me down for two months, right? But I'm still, I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? I'm still ready. So again, thank you guys for the panel. I appreciate it. This is therapy for me as well, because I haven't been on YouTube as y'all seen for about a couple of weeks, right? But I've been still doing the work, and that's what it's about. Yeah. Doing the work for yourself and developing yourself. Yes, yes, I say, I say, yeah, um, a lot of it is just boiled down to fear. That's it. It's just fear. Like a lot of people are just in this fear place. So they're not able to actually consistently do enough spiritual work to have a realization for themselves. So they want the quick fix, the instant fix to be able to get out of their situation and understand that and really honestly we just got to understand that this is a never-ending story so the real work is this internal bliss within and this internal joy within is something that you have to constantly and consistently repetitiously you know chip at you feel me because you're always understanding new things always learning and always growing. Hell, shit! I talk to Will. He got a new thing every day. I'm like, hey, I got. I spirit told me something else, baby. And I'm like, oh shit, okay. So this thing is this thing is chaos. It just keeps on going and keeps on forming and amalgamating, and it's just moving into a space of, you know, understanding that you have to be consistently in your spiritual work. That's why I put this right here. You have people that are. Religious people, 
you got the motivators and then you got the spiritual workers so either you are in the spiritual workers where you can see all all of us we give out work we give out things for you to do we give out things for you to try so you can actually go back and apply it and then see if it actually fits in your tool bill you feel me so that's that's basically what it boils down to a lot of people don't want to do the work they just want to act like they're doing some work by listening to you know <laughs> by listening to words and shit. you feel me go ahead will yeah you know um but like you're saying right that's that's pretty much the reason why man um things things are like they are man once once we can basically look at the levels of people okay um and understanding the level of people give you an example how many people watching this live right now 173 okay now is, is that a normal day no nope. okay that's the proof of my control right there <laughs> Straight okay up. we we prefer to 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 listen to things that um won't help you ultimately elevate but if if this video was i'm gonna show y'all you and the goddess do a video i'm gonna show y'all how to meditate or how to go within yeah i oh, bet man. you they would have probably had about 40 people on this motherfucker <laughs> okay so 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 that's the proof of what i mean what mind control brings okay yeah. You know, and, 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 and where when people first start waking up, all right, we're still under the assumption that Beyonce matters. Hmm. We're under the assumption that Jay-Z and P. Diddy and Kevin Hart and these people actually matter. Okay, hmm. so so when we come into consciousness, we're looking for that energy. You know. And and, and and we start to seek that out. That's why I learned over the years to 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 not fuss at the people because I know ultimately we're sick. Mm. Yep. Okay. And 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 you don't go to a sick person's bedside and beat them. Mm -hmm. You know, you you give them a push and say, hey. You're going to feel better one day and you leave them alone. Mm -hmm. You let it be. You say a few words of encouragement and you let it be. Right. You know, so so that's just something over time people are going to are going to learn. OK, people are going to get to certain levels to where the the the, the next person they listen to or our quote unquote speaker. All right. They're going to fuck around and have to do. Uh, 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 a goddamn Doctor Strange, okay, and go find a goddamn temple where don't nobody know. <laughs> you know, you know. So, so, so that's something that that uh we need to think about later on. You know, something we need to think about later on. But uh, with that being said, I'm a I'm gonna jump off here, man. Peace to y'all. Peace to Ra D Ray girl. You know I love your crazy ass girl, Uncle Willie's son. And uh, my bro dream all day long, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, well. Well. Appreciate the wisdom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. So, yeah, man, it's just one of those things. You just understand that, like, either you are understanding that this is about work, about working on yourself and what you're doing from people that are, uh, uh, let's say, spiritual teachers and stuff like that you're trying to understand so like for instance me rob all of us joseph will give you an understanding will we'll give you an understanding of what the work is and why you're doing it it's the same concept with when people are doing push-ups you feel me i used to explain this to my pe students when i was a pe teacher hey why do we do push-ups they would say, for our back, for our legs. I say, no, you're doing push-ups so you can get a stronger chest, so you can be able to carry groceries and all of that stuff, right? 
Why do we do jump rope? Oh, because it's fun. Oh, because I like how it makes me feel or whatever, right? No, you're trying to get your heart stronger so you can be able to have a more stronger uh, cardiovascular system and be able to live a little bit longer. You feel me? So when we, when we're, what we're doing, the people that's really in this is we are speaking to an understanding of why you're actually going to do this meditation, why you're actually going to do this ritual, why you're actually going to, you know, use this particular crystal and stuff like that. You feel me? Nigga, Yosef did a Patreon video. That nigga dropped so much knowledge. Oh, my God. I'm talking about it. it was beautiful, classic. You feel me? And y'all make sure y'all come to Houston on the 31st for Brother Yosef thing, New Life Tools, Tribals Ministries. He's going to take. Hey, I'm telling you, my brother got to, to rock that bitch into a whole nother world. So y'all make sure y'all sign up for that. If you in Houston, come down and get down with the family. I'll, you know, me and D-Ray will be there. But hey, y'all know it's going to go down. Yeah, man. So other than that shit, you got any uh, uh, final words, Rob? Anything else? Yeah, before I tap out, I just want to say, man, you're not going to beat the government, black man and woman. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry to give you the truth. I was a revolutionary before I came into this, right? Or an evolutionary, as they say, right? I was. I read all the books. The France Fanon, you know, the uh, uh, they came before Columbus, right? I was militant, you know. I'm gonna. We're gonna rock the world. We're gonna take down the white man, right? And then you come to the realization that a, you ain't got enough weapons. B, you ain't got enough money. C, the black community is divided and conquered already through FBA, not FBA now, right? The new shit through. Uh, light skin, dark skin, right? To you broke, I'm not broke, right? To you live here, I don't live here, right? To you got nappy hair, I got straight hair, right? Motherfuckers is divided amongst their own turf. So once you come to the realization that there's so much against you and you don't have the resources to fight this thing, you go and you have to get it from the, go from the exoteric or the outer world into the inner world from the macrocosm to the microcosm which is you right and you go back to you and you realize okay this is the situation what can i do to make myself thrive so that i could be the best version not just for myself again i'm going into my principles okay so not just for myself but for me and those i love and my tribe the best version of you helps your neighbors it helps your family. It helps the government. It helps your coworkers, right? It helps the person you are driving by on the highway, the person you meet in the store. If you're watching the fucking register at Walmart, you being spiritual and your electromagnetic field being lit up from you doing the spiritual work. Like for instance, Dream just said he heard a great lecture from Brother Yosef. Brother Yosef is a great teacher. Now imagine if Dream just heard the lecture came on here on YouTube and regurgitated it and didn't do no work. Mm. That, shit don't, that shit don't mean nothing. Do that shit don't mean nothing. People do that. That's what people do. That's what people do. You're not going to grow from that, my brothers and sisters, my kings and queens, my gods and goddesses. Right? I'm very passionate about this because I've been down these roads. Right? Again, I was in an organization with a pedophile that hasn't been uncovered yet. Right? But Justice is coming for everyone, as you guys see, right? A lot of these leaders are going to jail. A lot of these people are getting pushed off the platform. A lot of people are losing things, right? Because with all these solar flares and all this energy on the planet, it's time for a change, okay? Mm -hmm. So again, if you are following and listening to someone, look at it like, like Cobra Kai, right? Like Karate Kid, right? Get your wax on, wax Learn how to, you know, learn the techniques, learn the skills, right? And then go on your own path, but don't revere your your teacher, your sensei, more than you revere yourself. Mm. Especially when you hear heinous allegations such as pedo type of things, right? Mm -hmm. I don't care what happened. I don't care how powerful 
It is. I don't care if it's Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, my nigga. If I heard they touch children, fuck them. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Fuck them 1,000%. Because that's the way we should be thinking as gods. Right is right and wrong is wrong. And this is not about morality. This is about balancing the scales, right? So that's all I want to say. Be careful who you're following. Be careful who you're listening to. Mm -hmm. Don't listen to just the knowledge. Make sure the knowledge makes sense. Do your own fucking research. Do your right. own research. If it sounds too good to be true, if you look on YouTube and a nigga says you can make $30,000 in two days, mm -hmm. does that sound logical? There's millions of billionaires. Have you ever heard a story of a millionaire and billionaire making $50,000 in two days or 24 hours? Have you ever heard of a billionaire billionaire saying, I got a money ritual and I made millions and billions of dollars? Mm. I mean, really think, oh, look, be no. practical. You know what I'm saying? Be practical on your studies. That's all I want to say. Peace to the gods again. Thank you, Dream. Thank you, TRA, for the platform. And uh, thank you guys for the news. Um, see, I told my two subscribers. I appreciate it. I'm very passionate about this. And I want all y'all to win. I promise you. Because when y'all win, my daughter's we're all growing up, but they're going to have to live in the world with your kids. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So the yeah. better y'all are, is the better that the planet will be. And it's not about, again, living on some standard where, you know, you have to be a, like a Jesus figure, because that's not even right. You know what I'm saying? You're going to descend. I'll talk about that. I don't want to take up too much of your time. But again, <laughs> thank you, Jane. Thank you, TRA. Y'all have a good one. Peace, power, and prosperity, y'all. Peace, peace, peace. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Yeah, so very, very interesting. See, hey, I'm telling you, it's, if, if niggas is not doing any work, then there's no point to even be on here. You feel me? If niggas is not giving you work to do, something to physically do, so you can use that on your never-ending story, then there's no point of being on here. What's the what we were just listening for entertainment? See, that's feeding the low vibrational energy, that's feeding your lower nature, right? Because that's what people love. They love the addiction, they love the uh, uh, you know, the root chakra thing, the ant man, and all of that, right? The earthly stuff, right? But what D Ray and I speak of is the invisible, manipulating your invisible world manipulating your invisible world for the betterment of you you feel me so you can grow into a powerful strong confident assertive being and have understanding of what the invisible is have understanding of your astral realm have understanding of these energies moving in your being so don't get this twisted d ray and i have a business a spiritual business where we're providing services and products. That's it. You feel me? We not uh, nobody's uh, <laughs> what they say. We're not nobody's, um, I guess, leaders and all of that shit, right? We are providing a service, uh, uh, a service and products to help you on your spiritual path. That's it. You feel me? So that leadership thing, that whole see, Bobby used to talk about that. This uh worship thing, that idol worship. The uh -uh, nigga will turn this bitch off. <laughs> hey, look, we are here to provide a service. We D Ray and I have done so much work, so much spiritual work that as we was coming into our journey of this thing, we said, okay, maybe this might be a lane that can actually provide us with energy, i.e. money, to fuel our home. You feel me? So that's that's what it is. You feel me? So you got to understand the difference between people that are trying to be, uh, you know, celebrities on here, and people like people D-Ray. trying to be your God. Or your God or whatever, right? We're not trying to be, we should, we talked to, our whole Patreon family, you know, they'll talk to you. They they talk to us. You feel me? We're not trying to be no goddamn. We just like y'all. We here trying to 
see what movie is on. We look at the same thing at night. We like, hey, what's on? We go to Netflix. Same thing, right? We just happen to be in the service of spirituality. But don't get this shit fucked up. There's people that's doing that idol worshiping thing. And then there's people like us that's providing a service. That's what we do. The end. <laughs> See if it was like I wish it was see if it was like uh we sold uh like if we sold something else, man, it'll it'd just be different. You feel me? It'd just be a different thing. But since we are in this selling spiritual products and spiritual services, we gotta speak on the difference between these groups of people. <laughs> Chaos in the blood, baby. So speaking about that, hey, our Patreon is one of them services that we provide. And it's a lovely price, an easy price for the family to get out and understand what the spiritual work is. It's nothing but content, nothing but information on that bitch that's giving you the work, that's giving you what to do, that's giving you practical steps on how to approach things. You don't got to do everything on that hoe. You just want to focus and do something that helps you or something that you're interested in, something that speaks to you on the Patreon that will move your energy in a particular manner. You feel me? Because if you're not moving your energy, you're essentially just not moving. You're just stuck. So in us providing these services, right, and our Patreon is free. You can sign up seven, seven days for free and see what we're talking about. That's the key to, or that's the difference between these people that are scam artists or whatever they used to do, right, and selling their rap CDs and people like us that's just providing a service to give you understanding and the work to apply to your own journey so yeah i wanted to say that because you know i wanted to make sure that y'all know we are on here for services <laughs> the end d ray and i go outside and we enjoy the sun with each other right we don't talk about hey how can we be such a magical leader or whatever these motherfuckers are on we're providing a service if you understand, if you start understanding this service, yeah, y'all might like our personality. Y'all might like our energy, whatever, right? That's cool. We get that. That's part of the service. So just understanding that concept, that's what you want to get into instead of not, instead of saying, I like this person and they're not providing you with no work. They're not providing you with no service. You feel me? They're just providing you with a lot of motivation and a lot of fluff and a lot of stuff that's not even real, right? Service. That's it. Man, you got any final words, babe? Oh, uh, yeah. I just want the people to know and understand, like, you got this. You are a divine, sovereign being. And uh, it is always just my purpose to help you to remember that and to activate that and to you know just give you spiritual understandings that i'm actually receiving and work that i'm actually doing so you just got to pay attention and i think people have to start to trust themselves more just trust yourselves more invest in yourself more truly really like tune in to uh uh, uh your own intuition you got to strengthen up that muscle of being able to know what is real and what is truth inside of you and I think we really got to be honest on if you're actually taking the action and doing the work. Like, are you really sitting down and meditating, right? Like, for real, for real. And what are the results of that? Are you really going through these fasting processes? Are you really becoming the best version of yourself? Because I truly feel like when you are, none of this stuff even matters. Or you get it. You take from it what you need and you leave what you do not. D. Ray and I just started a new series, The Gene Key, on Patreon. So Patreon family, be ready, because we started it yesterday, and it's absolutely fire what we're about to go into. 
But see, this is what we're talking about. We're talking about the work. Look how thick this motherfucker is. So we're talking about work, family, work, the end, right? That's it. That's We don't play around with this shit. We get up every day and do work. And we tap into it because that's really where the power lies. If you understand how you can change your vibration, how things can, how you can manipulate your world based off of you understanding the invisible, the energies that's permeating your DNA, then that's how you manipulate the world. The end, right? But all this talk about theories and what the government is doing and all this other stuff, no, that shit is not serving you, family. And you got to wake up out of your slumber if you think that is what consciousness is. Consciousness is a self-realized internal self-sovereign energy within. That's it. So, yeah, family, we love and appreciate y'all, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Peace to the gods.